Welcome back to my latest nine ball breakout review. Tim here to break it all down for you. Smash that like button to support the channel that helps me out, helps the algorithm, helps uh, spread this um, entertainment and information to many other people in the community. You know what I'm saying. And uh, today we're talking about all the different types of English to use on the cue ball in order to control the cue ball. Make it go exactly where you want, manipulate it, finesse it, um, you know, smooth it over, sweet talk it, whatever you got to do, get the cue ball to do what you want it to do. And the first one here, uh, one ball, we actually need to go forward a little bit. Um, don't want it hiding behind the six, we got to get it up on the two a little bit. I'm gonna just kind of force it up into the six by using just a little bit of top spin. But see, when you hit it hard, then it's not gonna have that much momentum from actually rolling forward. It just goes, you're just like hitting it, boom, into the object ball. So when it's close like that, you can do that. You just like hit it slightly above center. This one I'm using just straight draw. I just want it to kind of sit there for the three. I don't really have to do too much with it. It's just nice and easy. Just set it right there. Fine having angle going down table because I can uh, just use its natural angle and momentum to bounce off the bottom rail and come back up for the five up here. Um, now here I am using top right. And my reasoning was that I wanted it to go kind of forward and off two rails back the table. Fortunately it went too far and then back over to the opposite side of the ball. So it went, I got kind of lucky here, but yeah, I should have just, uh, um, maybe just aimed a little bit more toward and uh, hit it, hit the cue ball more toward the center. Let me just give it a little bit of top right, not so drastic. Um, yeah, the just the natural roll of the ball going forward um, carries it, carries it, uh, kind of gives it natural follow anyway. So it would have. Would have been over on that side of the table anyway. Probably don't need any right. Maybe just could have just probably used middle ball actually. Here I'm going slight bit of top. When you're hitting down on it, you don't have to use as much top spin really. It's gonna have more natural follow. And uh, on the same lines, you're not gonna get as much draw when you do try to draw it. If you're if you're um, jacked up on it, but I did get a lot of movement actually. I that thing really came off. Yeah, that tends to happen when you're jacked up on the ball and then kind of hitting down on it. It tends to really take off on you. So just keep that in mind. And hey, I mean that was a decent amount of angle on that. But and then here. I need to, this is going to have momentum, so it's going to tend to go straight into the rail and straight back out, potentially hiding behind the nine ball, which we don't want, so we actually want to use, I'm using actual um, just left spin, I'm just hitting the left side of the cue ball to spin it off the rail. I should have actually used uh, uh, low left. Because I almost got caught behind the nine and came off harder than it should. Using a little low left might have maybe slowed it down a little bit and got the angle up a little more. Got a little lucky there, kind of just bumped the nine and uh, didn't get didn't get bad. So I'm getting lucky, but we're also learning as we go here and. Uh, this one I'm just kind of similar to the last shot, only opposite. So I'm just using a 
right hand side spin and maybe a little low on this yeah unless you're like hitting it real hard it's not gonna it's not gonna like go backwards on you it's just gonna kind of follow straight off the rail anyway just because like I keep saying the momentum of it rolling forward and yeah that got a little lucky again um, I do have a shot here not ideal I have to go up and down the table again uh, yeah that's just a product of not quite not quite having the speed exactly right it's always tricky speed is always tricky spin just takes a long time to get the feel for it I guess but here I'm using uh, top left, I think. Just a, not that much top spin. I mean, yeah, I think it, yeah, just top left, basically. I just kind of want to hit this medium speed. So that's pretty good speed there. Came a little far, but not bad. Not bad, that's about what I wanted. <clears throat> See, each of these, there's no, like, I don't think there's any middle ball hits on the, any of these. They're all involved some sort of spin or draw English. Like this one, I'm using draw so that it, um, I don't want it to, basically I don't want it to, like, bank off the rail and go in. I don't want it to scratch on the opposite side. Kind of headed toward that direction anyway, but the draw took some 